On behalf of Ellen and myself, we want to welcome you to beautiful Baltimore County and Stoneworth Farm. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what garden black tie is, but you all look great. Sorry, garden black tie, which I have no idea what that means. I've been growing organic basil in my tuxedo for the last month out of confusion. But I say black tie in Baltimore? You can put truffles on a hamburger, but that don't make it a filet, baby. I mean, don't you think that you deserve to get married somewhere classy? <laughs> He says, just wait and see. They live on the most beautiful farm. I said, a farm? Jewish people don't live on farms. Uh, first, thank you to all of you uh, for traveling here to be with us. You are literally the best 350 people we know. <laughs> Maddie, you know, I would have married you in an empty field, but this is cool too. Maddie and Mike and their families, I wish to welcome you to this joyous occasion. Not even a rainstorm this afternoon could dampen this wonderful evening. Looking at the smiling faces right now of Maddie and Mike is like a ray of sunshine in this glorious setting. Here we are at your wedding, honey. After all the joy and love of raising you, and the sheer privilege of being your parents. There's so much I want to say. Tonight is your night, Maddie. From the time you came into our lives, it was evident that you were special. Mom and I beam with pride over your recent accomplishments at Wharton. We love you, sweetheart. For those that may not know, Michael is our first child, and we were obviously very excited when we knew we were going to start a family. As a parent, for me, it was an exceptional experience to see my son fall in love and to find that special someone that he wanted to commit his life to. Over the last six years, we've watched Mike and Maddie's love grow. We've also watched Mike grow into a mature gentleman worthy of marrying our daughter. Ellen and I know that you are the right man for our Madeline. Ellen and I are proud of you, Mike. We thank you for loving and cherishing our daughter, and we wholeheartedly welcome you into our family. Okay, I'm 
remember when I did all this with my mother. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's so stunning. Maddie and Mike, we're so happy for you. And more importantly, mom and I are always here for you. I've been told that when children find true love, parents find true joy. So as we celebrate this weekend, Maddie and Mike's true love, I know that the Max family and the Fazino family will be sharing in their true joy. greatest wish for you both is to have the happiness, joy, fulfillment, friendship, and love that Ellen and I have had for almost 40 years. this evening to celebrate one of life's greatest joys, the joining of two hearts and two lives into a lifelong partnership. The chuppah that we stand beneath is adorned by the talus which belonged to Maddie's loving grandfather, Morty. Mike will be using his grandfather Vincent's ring as his wedding ring. Notably, today marks the day that Mike's grandparents, Molly and Vincent, would have celebrated their 67th wedding anniversary. One of life's greatest gifts is when two people love each other so much that they're willing and able to commit their lives together as one. A wedding is a celebration of this precious gift. Maddie and Mike will officially become a part of each other's family. Formalizing the bond of family is a poignant part of tonight's ceremony and for both of them because it highlights the most central component of their shared values. Tonight, with their family and friends present, Maddie and Mike solidify their love and commitment by joining together as husband and wife. Maddie Max is without a doubt in my mind my favorite person in this entire world. Maddie and I are only 16 months apart. We shared a bathroom until we were teenagers. We brushed our teeth together every night and every morning. We went to high school together. We went to college together. And throughout every day, there has never been a single moment in my life when she has not been there to guide me, to listen to me, or just to make me laugh. But if there's anyone in this life who understands and appreciates that more than I do, it's Michael Fazzino. Anyone who knows him can see that he has loved her fully and completely for exactly who she is since the day he met her. And likewise, I have never seen Maddie smile or blossom more than she has in the past six years. His love for her is just proof that he is just as wonderful and special as she is. I love you both and I wish you 
a lifetime of happiness, health, and adventure. Mike, I promise to prioritize you and make time for us. At the end of the day, time with you is all that matters. Addie, I promise that I will never stop with the little surprises and grand gestures that you love so much. I will always fill your candy jar with sour gummy bears, even though I worry about your teeth. <laughs> We've talked about how marriage means we're committing to sitting across the table from one another for the rest of our lives, and how this would be easy because we never run out of things to talk about. I promise to always comfort you when you have heavy boots and to be there to remind you that there are more stars in the sky than grains of sand in the earth. I promise to build the kind of family that resembles the ones we grew up with one that loves liberally and loudly, and one that gives generously to those that need help the most in the same way that your pop-pop inspired you to. I promise to be a committed part of the amazing and loving family I am marrying into. And I promise to love, appreciate, and cherish your family members' traditions and heritage as if they were my own from the beginning. I promise that I will always try to be, be your equal, even though I know that you are, in every way, unmatched. <laughs> and I know, I know that at the end of my life, I will look back and know that no matter how much time we have together, it will not be enough. But in the time that I do have, I want you to know that I will always make you feel as loved as you did when your parents first told you and as loved as you ever felt growing up in that little bedroom on the, on the third floor, <laughs> right over there, and as loved as you feel in this moment. Mike, last but not least, I promise to love you, support you, and respect you. I promise to appreciate your talents, be a patient partner, and always be on your team. I will encourage you, learn from you, and be your best friend. As Gloria Pritchett once said on the ABC hit sitcom Modern Family, <laughs> I will be the wind at your back, not the spit in your face. <laughs> my soulmate and my teammate and I can't wait for the rest of our lives. And I promise that if you ever wonder if I still love you years from now, after all this time, you know what my answer will be. <laughs> <laughs>